The last few weeks have shown us that when conservatives are up against a wall, they are very limited in their ability to come back with arguments. And so they focus on arguments that have to do with characteristics. And um, so when they can't disqualify somebody's credit, their, their merit, um, they make comments about them being fiery, as in the case of Judge Sotomayor, or they say that they're fat, which is the latest hoo-ha over the appointee for Surgeon General, Regina Benjamin, who is, by any accounts, one of the most qualified people um, to be nominated for Surgeon General, and um, given specifically the location that she's worked in and the experience she has, personal and professionally, would make an amazing Surgeon General and would definitely understand the needs of some of our most disenfranchised and in need of um, health care and health advice. So uh, naturally, after her picture was posted, multiple forums around um, the country have been decrying her body mass index as though this is somehow an indication of her lack of health. Um, and I think what's really sad about it is not necessarily that, you know, we have a superficial culture, we have a superficial kind of online world, people say whatever they say, but there's a lot of news anchors that have also kind of joined in on this. And they think that because she's overweight, this somehow disqualifies her for Surgeon General, assuming that she's overweight. Number one, they've never met the woman. Uh, they have no idea. Uh, number two, weight is something that is very subjective to a person. Um, a lot of misinformation is, in fact, uh, uh, you know, out about what's considered obese, what's not considered obese, and a lot of it is really just fat hating and it's fat shaming and it's to keep women complacent in hating their bodies and therefore not feeling good about themselves and not interacting with the world in effective ways. Uh, it's a means of social control and it's a means of emotional and psychological control that has wreaked havoc and terror on women across the country. So calling her fat is just an extension of this kind of same sexist trajectory Finally, she's obviously extremely qualified, and I think that it's interesting because if she was a man, nobody would say she's fat. Then nobody would even think to argue that she's fat because it's only women that are judged by what they look like and um, whether that is in fact going to determine if they can do the job or not, as opposed to men that are only evaluated for whether they can do the job. So fuck you to everyone that has been fat hating all week long about Regina Benjamin. She's awesome and I cannot wait to have her as part of the administration.